Uh, hi, Gary. Thanks again for your response. Um, well, I think you misunderstand the way in which I'm referring to the butterfly effect. Um, I wasn't actually saying that we're all off the hook because of the butterfly effect, because we don't know what the results of our actions are going to be. Rather, I was dealing uh, with um, the whole subject in the context of uh, excessive guilt. Now, when you have a, an excessive amount of guilt, you sort of think that it's pretty much impossible for you to act good in this world. Because no matter what you do, you doubt your own motives, and you think that whatever I try to do might result in a bad thing. If you've ever had gone through a period of a lot of guilt, and you've actually tried to be a good person, and the results of you attempting to be a good person in you know some particular instance resulted in a negative outcome, you know how crushing that can be. You're honestly trying to be good, and the result is disaster. Uh, well, you, you might see it as disaster, whereas you might have just annoyed a bunch of people and they've thought less of you as a result, but um, little things like that uh, can have catastrophic effects on someone's uh, uh, sense of self-worth. They tend to sort of think, oh my god, I'm so evil, because even when I try to do good things, yeah, the result is catastrophe. Um, and that's the kind of thing that gnaws at the back of your mind uh, if you're suffering from excessive guilt. So I was simply saying, um, that is kind of the butterfly effect. You try to be good, and through the jigs and the reels of the whole thing, the end result is bad. So you sort of think, oh my god, there's no way out of this. And I was simply saying that the butterfly effect works both ways. You could try to actually do something bad, and the result is good. Usually, when you try to do something good, the result is good. When you try to do something bad, the result is bad. But again, when the person is suffering from an excess of guilt, they tend to sort of think that... Um, things are going to go bad even when I try to be good. Um, and this is especially prevalent, if you ask me, on people who are attempting to uh, lay a pile of guilt on somebody. Um, oh yeah, you say that you're trying to be good, but it's only for your own selfish reasons. Just you. It's you again. Even though you're helping all these other people, I know, it's all your ego. It's just your ego. It's just, uh, you know, or you just want everyone else to think how fabulous you are, don't you? Huh? Yeah, see? It's all about you. All of this fake stuff about you being so well, high and mighty and wonderful and better than the rest of us. No, 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 no. All it is is, uh, you know, just ego. You're, you're not at all. That kind of thing. Um, so... Again, the, the butterfly effect can be abused, yes, I agree, uh, in terms of a logical strategy. But it can be abused in ways other than the ways in which you apparently think I am abusing it. You can rearrange uh, the furniture to sort of deduce a foregone conclusion to anything. Um, and you can so arrange the furniture that the person whom you are guilting invariably looks bad. You do this to somebody long enough, and pretty soon uh, they are reduced to that shivering, shriveling, uh, shivering <laughs> ball of guilt. That's all I was saying when I was talking about the, butterf the butterfly effect. Um, I was just sort of saying that that's kind of irrational, because let's say that I believe that whatever I do, no matter what happens, I've got this Panglossian sort of view that no matter what I do, it's going to turn out for the better. Uh, if I um, uh, push a disabled person off their wheelchair and into traffic, uh, chances are something good is going to happen. And actually, if I really understood myself, uh, then I would understand that my motives were pure. Uh, I know what we would actually make of that. We'd say that's pretty crazy reasoning, don't you? Don't you think that's pretty insane that somebody would actually think that? Well... When people are inflicting guilt on each other, they actually do often make cases exactly like that. They actually do make arguments against other people to prove how bad they are exactly like that. And the opposite of, uh, yeah, you pushed that person into traffic, that disabled person into traffic, off their wheelchair for totally stellar reasons. We know that you're ultimately a wonderful person and... Uh, we believe that you did this for perfect reasons. So, the person who's inflicting guilt, well, okay, you risked your life to save a disabled person who was stuck in traffic in a wheelchair and a speeding bus was coming along about to cream him, but you probably did that for the worst possible reasons. Does any of this sound familiar? 